We who are saved, the Apostle Paul wrote in Ephesians 1.12, should be to the praise of his glory. And it's just here that the question comes. How do we glorify God? We confess freely that all that we do should be to the glory of God. If we eat and drink, we drink to the glory of God. We eat to the glory of God. If we raise children, it is to the glory of God. When we exult in Christ, it is to the glory of God. But how really do we glorify God? That is, what is the sort of life that brings God glory? And once we phrase the question in those terms... The scriptures provide us with a crystal clear answer, namely by obedience to his word. The life that renders glory to God is a life of obedience to his word. Now it must be said that such a life has to be lived in Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit and that means that if we're going to learn how to glorify God in our lives that we must be conformed by the Holy Spirit to the one human life and the only one human life that has ever been lived utterly to the glory of God. That means we need to look to him, to Christ Jesus, who lives a life of absolute total commitment to the word of God. Everything he did, everything he thought, submitted to the word of God unto the glory of God. And you see the passage before us here, Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 11, offers us a summary of Jesus' life of obedience. Friends, this, this is what has brought God glory immeasurably beyond anything else ever accomplished in human history. 